I do not think that black women have control over their own images in the media, sadly. Um, because I think if they did, you would see a more diverse range of images of black women in the media. Black women are very diverse, and yet you get a sort of, dare I say, archaic, but a very stagnant and stereotypical image of the black woman. The type of natural hair that is most portrayed in the media, which is again with the light skin and their like three, three yeah, multiracial, but they're like three B hair, I guess probably be it because that's like what's portrayed on television as as, as acceptable um, natural black hair. Oprah, uh, Oprah and Oprah's images and Oprah's brand is one of the few images that white people are really comfortable with. Mm. One of the few images of black women that white people are really comfortable with. Okay. Um, Why do you think so? Because she's very much a maternal figure and she's not a threat. You know, everybody wants to get in good with, with the woman who's giving away the cards. That um, I don't think that we can be naive um, to to what you know what what she represents in, in in white people's minds and why they are so comfortable with her. The Cosby Show and then a woman like Claire Huxtable, she's amazing, and I think that she was probably one of the strongest images of a black mother that the media has put forth in a very long time. But I think that we need to do a little thinking about what we mean when we say strong black women, especially in, what does strong mean in the context of strong black women? Mm -hmm. um, does it mean that she is constantly working? That mm -hmm. she's not emotional? Mm -hmm. That she's independent? That mm -hmm. she's single and without a man? That she's never vulnerable? Um, so I think a lot of these things get attached to the idea of strong black women. We need to kind of re rework or rethink exactly what we mean when we say um, strong black women. Radiant skin, just beautiful. Uh, her eyes, her nose, her mouth, her smile. Um, you know, the way that she wears her hair or the way that she doesn't have any hair. <laughs> it's still beautiful. Um, yeah, just absolutely exquisite. Yeah, exactly. That's why I think I like her so much because she is so kind of like out of nowhere. She's, oh my god, I can't even like talk to you how much it, it like when I was a kid when I saw her, kid, I don't know how old I was, but like when I saw her, I was like, I was like, she's so dark. Like that was the first thing I said, like, it, why is she so dark? You know, because you don't see that in, term, in, in, in institutions of, or not institutions, but like places and spaces of you know, feminine beauty and like the whole lightning and like the lights and the bright skin and the clear skin, the pure skin, like you're not going to see like such a darkly toned woman just like, I'm here and I'm beautiful. And it's just like, whoa, whoa, where am I? It, it just like really hit me when I saw her.